every year, Bob Schaefer reminds them what it must have been like to be hearing Patrick Henry give this speech. He completely memorizes it, and you can hear a pin drop in the room. The battle, sir, is not to the strong alone. It is to the vigilant, the active, the brave. Besides, sir, we have no election. If we were base enough to desire it, it is now too late to retire from the contest. There is no retreat but in submission and slavery. Our chains are forged. Their clanking may be heard on the plains of Boston. The war is inevitable and let it come. I repeat it, sir. Let it come, forbid it, almighty God, that I know not what course others may take. But as for me, give me liberty or give me death. Bob believes these words. He understands what it means to be vigilant. He knows what it means to be brave. And he's imploring every person in that room to actually be one of those brave people, someone who's living that life each and every day. I think the closer you are to the people, the closer you are to actually providing a meaningful service to individuals, the closer you are to the top of the, the food chain, to the top of the pyramid, to the top of the value that can be provided in the land of public service. And that's why I would say congressman, chairman, headmaster, Schaefer has in fact ascended in the course of his professional career by becoming closer and closer to the people and providing more and more value every step of the way. Well, it's one thing to talk about policy. It's another thing to actually uh, deliver on the bottom line, not just in the political world, but in the real world. Which, Bob, in my opinion, a bunch of steps ahead of all of the folks that uh, just want to create policy for the real world and don't necessarily engage in the real world the way that, that Bob has. You don't need to have any title or position of privilege in America to be an ardent defender and someone who will articulate these important, crucial values of what it takes to maintain a republic and to just tell somebody that they need to learn what's in here and to carry it with them and defend them. It's not that hard. A child will listen to it because you're an adult. Your coworkers will listen to you because you're informed. Anybody you want to talk to about freedom will listen because they inherently know that freedom is better than bondage. So Bob Schaefer was the congressman for the 4th Congressional District here in Colorado, but he signed a term limits pledge. And so many congressmen actually broke that pledge, but Bob was one of only three congressmen that actually kept his pledge. Now he is a leader in a broader sense. He is leading the next generation towards that march for liberty. Bob is the headmaster of Liberty Common School. It was one of the first charter schools in the state after Bob sponsored the Colorado Charter School Law in 1993-4. The number one high school, as I understand it, in Colorado, and their dedication to values, to family, to country, that make the graduates of Bob's school important assets for our country. I'd like you to try to accomplish in one minute. Hey. The U.S. government should do this. Bob does a tremendous job sometimes playing devil's advocate and poking holes in the very simplistic answers that we sometimes give when we really haven't been challenged to think through uh, our beliefs and to, and to advocate for them, especially to people who might not instantly share them. Part of that is Bob's role in leading Speak Out. Bob has brought to the leadership program of the Rockies a kind of inspiration. When I'm in the room with Bob Schaefer, I want to take what I have and use it for the good fight. He just really wants to see people lead. He uses the term lead up. Locking arms in this army of freedom. We are changing our state and our community. We're changing the country. And we're just getting started really, <laughs> which is the cool thing. So last night as I was driving home, I was just thinking about uh, the impact that he's had on me as a mentor, just believing in me. The knucklehead is, is several years younger than I am. He's still my older brother in this land of policy and principles and uh, politics. And I'm grateful to have been able to take his guidance, to work beside him, and to learn from him by watching, and to learn from him when he said, hey, think about this. You know, Bob Schaefer is like the epitome of what the founders wanted to have in a good citizen. 
He is a man of principle. He is a leader. He's a teacher. He's a good parent. He's been a great elected official. You now, Bob Schaefer is an American hero. I'm a better leader because of Bob Schaefer. So thank you for being here. Uh, thanks for learning today. Thanks for rallying around timeless principles. But let's do the next part of that LPR motto. Put leadership to action today, tomorrow, off into the future. May God bless America. Well, Bob, congratulations on 15 years as the chairman of LPR. Congratulations for being such a great exemplar of leadership, of scholarship, of principle and integrity. You inspire me, and I know that you've made a world of difference for every life you've touched through LPR. Thank you for investing from yourself into this program, into the Congress, into the State Board of Education, into the students at your school. And thank you for being my lifelong friend. You're a great inspiration. But most of all, I want to thank you for investing in me. I appreciate you. Thanks, boss.